Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I am bringing you episode 8, I believe it is, of my uh, Hardcore Museum Challenge, Season 5, Take 3. <laughs> we have three of three bees here, two of them are up in the hive. One is here smelling the flowers. Okay, there he goes in. Break time. And I only found, man, I have been through tons and tons and tons of places. I am a long way again from the jungle. Actually, you can see the jungle if you go out. It's a huge jungle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I think go out. It is daytime. I'm going to put a door in here. Like this. Yeah, I'm using the wrong tool for this. And I want to take a little closer look at what is around here. Okay, door time, door time, door time, right here. Okay, good. Yeah, I was coming here in a rainy night. Oh my goodness. Rushing, rushing, rushing. Okay, this is minus 66. 81 1408 I'm still I'm looking for dripstone the two honey things which I'll get right here in a couple of days worth and a cactus so that's uh, we need lights out here okay there we go and they'll be busy oh <laughs> I wondered what happened to that one okay here we go nice little hut and the tree is still growing, so the leaves are fine. But over here, actually we're up in the top now. Which way is it? There's a... Yeah, actually the jungle is... There's, there's a, <laughs> another uh, ruined portal. But the jungle, I believe, is around to the south? No. It would be this way. It's to the north. So I might be able to find some turtles down there. If there, I don't see any sand though. So there's more water over here. There's there are a couple of huge of the. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a quick run. Let's see. I'm going to the south right now. There, um, there are several of the what you call it ones caves the lush caves um, but I can't find any dripstone anywhere so I'm not sure about what's going to happen with that <laughs> okay I just want to take a look here see I, I went through a lot of those trees over there looking for bees came along that shore came along here no bee nests until I ran into the one just at dark there's probably a few others I was running pretty fast. So it may take me a little longer to get through these bees doing their honey thing, but there's just no sign of dripstone anywhere. Um, although there are caves, like in a lot of places like that one. And um, right now I don't want to try to go, get, ah, get down in there. Yeah. I haven't been over there on those areas. Don't want to go too far from here. Okay. Okay, where's my, I have my coordinates, right? That's a spider in there. I wrote it down. It's, where did I write it? Minus 66, 81 and 14 something. So minus this way. Minus 66. here go this way 85 84 really okay so it's this way <laughs> I went past it yep I did it's right there I was sure it was further on okay so okay this is good 
kind of a little crevice thing there. Oh, wait, go back to the game. All right. So the bees like to go over here by the little windows. And, oh, yes, we have honey. All right, so we can do this. We get in here and go boom and pick up that honey, and we can make our beehive. Just like that. And it's just that easy. Um, yeah, like that, and that, and there's our beehive. I can X that one. I could make another one. Whoops, <laughs> I literally X and I've been using check marks, but I haven't got it curated yet, so that's still open. And I could get the honey block pretty easy. I have my bottles with me right here. That's the next thing to use instead of shears. And if they keep producing like that, which hopefully they will, so my fire is uh, not burning things up. It's not burning them up. As long as you put some protection around it, they're okay. I didn't put any on the sides, but they seem to be okay. It's it's the top that seems to bother them more than anything. Oh, they pop it out again. Yay. I could take the flower out of there and put... But they like the flowers out there, so... I could put protection on the side. Mostly I've noticed though, if you get the front, even just the top, protected, then they, they don't dip down into that. It doesn't really seem to bother them that much at the sides. So they wish, just went and got some more pollen to make more honey. I like the roses. There were a ton of them growing out there. <laughs> okay, so we have stuff we can throw in here. Don't throw that in there. I have extra of those. Okay. Um, looks like I'm going to need to eat. Okay. So this is going to be kind of boring here. It's just... I don't really want to get too far from these guys. And although I could make another one, it's going to only take two more days to get all the... Well, four days, I guess. Yeah, to get the honey. I'm on day 65, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is... Uh, yeah, I'd have to go find more... Well, I could, you know, breed them. I think you can only do that once a day. If I wanted to. If I wanted to set down the beehive and make another one. But, eh, I think we're okay. I think when it's night, I'm going to go down underneath and see what I can find. I'll just use another one of these. Where'd they go? There they are, right there. And let's see, this can be turned into sticks, because I'm a little bit low there. I have plenty of iron. I only brought just the one stack with me. But that's okay. Okay, let's do this. And... One of these on top, not in it. Okay. Okay, do we have anything dripping? Uh, yes, we do. Good. Honey bottle. Um, not yet. Um, I think it's because the flowers are in the way. Yep, there we go. One bottle down. Only three to go. And they'll be done before we know it. Um... What did I do with the beehive? Oh, I'm going to actually put it in here because I don't want to like take it with me. <sighs> like, so I won't pick it up by accident and throw it out or something like that. Okay, so... Mm, yeah, one step there and then down. Usually I use three, but that's okay. We'll, we'll work this out here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. It is dark, right? I think it is. It's hard to tell. Because, yeah, it's just getting dark right now. Okay. Peering down there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 
What happens if I do that? It won't let me do that over the top of it anyway. Okay, well, we'll just put one this way then. Hmm, okay, I need to do it this way. Just a little different than usual. I don't usually do it quite that way. Okay, we can pull that one down. Whoops. Um, yeah, that one's safe to take out. There we go. And here we go. Bees can't come after me. We can go see if we can find dripstone. It's the only thing I need to go down for. I should put some light up here. I can't put... Yep, I can. There we go. Oh, I don't want to go that way. I don't... Picking up copper and throwing it away, you know? Alright, let's put this over here, this here, this here. Ah. Okay. Alright, so I think since I'm just mining again, I'll cut off here and then you can uh, come back and I'll be here again. Thanks for watching. Okay, I am back. I am really stoked. <laughs> I only have two things in the regular column left to get. That's the dripstone block and the cactus. I have no idea where I'm going to find those. I've been looking everywhere for the dripstone. Haven't been able to find anything. I am going to go down into the lush caves areas underneath here a little bit and see if there happen to be any dripstone. Did you know you can go, if you put this on your glass, you can go behind them and then you can see out your window and you can just like go right through them. <laughs> That's fun. Um, anyway, so I have now my honey block and my beehive. In here I have my uh, crimson log stem and I have the glowstone. And here I have the, yes, the warp block and the shroom light. And that was like I had to make the third portal. First of all, I had I went that way to make the second portal. The first one was just down here underneath my, my thing. Uh, it's my ca I keep calling it my castle. I'll show you the outside here in just a minute how it looks like. And then um, then I had to go to get that one. Actually, it's, it's appropriate. It's on that, on that side. I had to go uh, 1,200 blocks that way to make a third portal to get. And when I came out of the portal, the warp stem was immediately behind me. Right there, just right in front of me, just like the red one was when I went through the other portal. That was just just really strange. All right, so then I was just showing my daughter this also because I showed her a quick part of a video the other day and she liked it and I wanted to show her what it looks like now with all the more stuff in it. Because here it's been, you can see there's been an enderman up there. There is a grass block sitting right there in a place where no grass usually glows grows glows it doesn't glow either I love that tree <laughs> okay so here we have there the side view of my little modern style castle museum there's stuff all underneath here <laughs> lush caves really all the way down through here um, there is so much iron look there's still more iron that I haven't even picked up out of these mountains here just even in this area you can see where I've dug there's lights around there's some right over there if you go over this way there's more I did pick up some more of it the other day I have such a ton of it it's just these these stony mount stony peaks they are just amazing with the iron okay so yeah that's the everything here with the the glass the way it is it lines up it has the uh, bars in it so to speak then I did all the stair steps like the mountain itself and I accented all of the um, yeah that part <laughs> the cobble you know that's like the paths that have kind of run out same over here this is Mr. Golem in here by the way hello Mr. Night Watchman he scares people through the glass you know he makes faces at them and they go away really honestly there were the pillager outpost guys out here the one day and uh, they didn't like the look of him they left pretty soon he's busy in there so yeah here's another part of the pathway here and I you know I 
graded it back so you can see most of the, the house, but there's more than that underneath and everything. So, yeah, that's uh, that's my castle museum there. My Stony Point Museum, I guess. Stony Peaks Museum. And this, like, probably, I'm not sure if a phantom could get through there or not. I don't think so, but if it did, it would die in here because it would get caught. So, yeah, oh, there's, down down here is where my curator Aww. is. There we go. Hello, Mr. Curator. And then my, uh, I had sugarcane growing here, and that's, you know, I think I showed you guys uh, this before. There's my bookshelf. And in here is Mr. Mr. Night, Night Watchman. Yep. So he is, he is good. He likes all the stuff he's been given. Now if I could just find the other stuff, the dripstone and the cactus, and then I just need one more. To get a perfect 200, I need one more of the lucky items. I have the, uh, the gas tier. Ta-da! Gas tier right there. Um, yeah. And then I have the, um, emerald, which I, I think that went in, but I'm not sure it'll go into the score. I might have to end up getting another one or something. And the ender pearl. So they're all up there. There we go. And the crying obsidian. So at this point, I have 140 showing, and that's because of the 50 for the crying obsidian and 90 on the other side there. And I'm waiting on that other 50. <sighs> I've done a lot of digging. I've done a lot done a lot of rowing I'm gonna have to be doing some more so I will come back hopefully with a complete win if yeah I'm not even gonna say if I'm gonna come back with a complete win so I'll see you later thanks for watching bye for now and here we are to round off episode 8 after a lot of underground and overground searching a couple of, of hard runs to get away from not get away from, but to avoid phantom, phantoms, Aww. to get away from several different mobs, and Aww. one where I, I thought I was had had it. I thought I was drowning, and I was able to get up to the top of a Aww. totally dark cave and get a breath of air and then work my way out. Whew. I thought that was a goner, <coughs> and I actually didn't even lose any health because my bubbles lasted until I got to the top. But man, that was scary. I fell in through a hole, digging a tunnel. <laughs> and way down, let's see, it was way out there, way past the big tree, almost, there's a river down there between the dark oaks and the jungle. And it was down by the river and there are a couple of big canyons down there. Let's see, I was about 150 blocks that way. And actually pretty well lined up with this because I had gone down the hill. There's a huge cave with a bunch of attached caverns with lots of water in them. Not too many um, mobs because of the, the globe, uh, glowberries down there. It's all lush caves. And that little piece right there was one piece, one block of maybe, maybe 30 blocks, period. I have looked and looked and looked and looked and looked until all of a sudden, almost dying, I found that right at morning and got out as soon as the sun came up all the way, ran my way around the hill and up because it's pretty steep down. You can get down, but you can't get up that, that easily, so I already had a path coming up from here. So I just got back up here a few minutes ago. So what I have now only missing for the regular side is cactus. I think, as far as I can tell, there's nothing out that way other than dark oaks and some savanna, maybe. And over this way, I did see some savanna with some, with when I was out looking for the, the portal stuff, you know, trying to get a good portal spaced in. Um, there's a possibility there might be either beach or or uh, desert over that way. To, wait, north? No, 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 west. West. This way. Yeah, that way. Because I had, 
I went up and down Dale in that one. I didn't go, I didn't tunnel all the way, and I had to get, I had to take my boat, I guess, across two rivers, and then when I put my second portal in, no, it was the last portal that I put in, the third portal, that was out that way. There were some glances of countryside that was was um, maybe a little different, but I don't know for sure. If anyway, it would be that way, because everything this way is just trees and trees and trees and canyons and rivers and trees and, yeah. Yeah, and it was this direction also that I did find my honeybees. So I think getting down out of the out of the rocky peaks will be the key. And this is this side is just full of everything, rocks and mountains and all that kind of stuff. So I think I am going to go get a rest. <laughs> not not a rest, it's get a rest. <laughs> because I've been trying to get my night owl hours changed around and I thought it was doing pretty well, but all of a sudden I got hung up on this and and okay, stop right there. And then um I come to find out, let's see what time is it? It's two twenty one PM and I haven't had any sleep. I think I got up at ten o'clock yesterday morning. <laughs> So I'm going to have to get some sleep. I'm feeling kind of kind of um, strange, <laughs> kind of floating because I've been up so long. So anyway, I'm going to go do that. And then when I get all my stuff, my, my work stuff to tomorrow, then I'm going to come in and try to find a cactus, one measly little piece of cactus. And then I, oh, maybe over there, if there's a desert somewhere in that way, but wherever there's a desert, or or badlands, for that matter, um, there might also be, um, you know, a warm ocean that has a coral reef in it or something, so that I could maybe get my sea pickle, either one or the other. If it's a beach over there, where I thought I might uh, might have seen sand, maybe there's a beach. Um, I was out quite a ways. I was out over 1,200 blocks that way. So it it is different. There's there's there are actually just some hills and stuff, not just not the mountains, and no jungle until you get back over here. It's this jungle is huge. Oh, sorry. Anyway, hopefully tomorrow I will have this thing, at least one on the regular side. I just need the cactus. That's all I need. One one little tiny square of cactus, and then on the in the lucky. Items. I need one more item, one one way or another. Uh, could find a slime ball in a slime chunk or in a swamp, and I haven't seen any sign of a swamp either. So, yeah, the glow ink sack. I, I might get back down into the caves here and be able to get the glow ink sack. That would be really cool. And then all I've got to do is find a cactus. And two options on that, and I have no clue where either one is other than possibly to the west, because I've been way out, way, way out to the other directions, haven't found anything. And the, and the land was different going out to the west. So that's where I'm going, but not until a little while later. It'll be sometime tonight. I hope this is, I hope that I can get this done, not just to get it done, because I've been having a blast, even when I've been dying. <laughs> but, but I like this, this uh, building. Did I show you the outside? Oh, there's stuff out here. But this, yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure I did show you. Yeah, this is all with the uh, the barred windows and the, and the you know, just the, the look of it in the mountain. It all fits in here really nice. I really like it. Okay, so anyway, I got to go, try to get some sleep, and I will be back, hopefully, to get this thing entirely one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.